With their striking black, red and white hulls and wing foil and revolutionary cycling system for powering their onboard hydraulics, the New Zealand team led by Glenn Ashby and helmed by Peter Berlin have been hot favourites throughout. They bounced back from a near catastrophic capsize last week when racing Land Rover BAR, getting their 50-foot catamaran and towering wing foil repaired in time to beat the British crew and progress to the Challenger final. Although Artemis Racing put up a keen fight, the New Zealand crew constantly had the edge in peace and maneuverability. With Berlin calmly driven his high-speed craft around Bermuda's great sound as his cyclos pedaled non-stop to provide the power needed to control the vest. There were celebrations aboard the New Zealand catamaran after they crossed the line nearly a minute ahead of the Swedish boat, after an earlier race had to be abandoned when the wind dropped away and left both teams drifting. But the wind held for the second race and after getting the better of the Sweden skipper, Nathan Outridge, at the start, Berlin, the youngest helmsman in the competition, sailed superbly to take the win from his longtime rival. It's been a, a fantastic journey to uh, even make it here to Bermuda for us. Um, you know, we've had some fantastic battles on the water over the last few days and um, absolutely hats off and congratulations to Artemis who gave us a, a fantastic battle on the water. They've had a, a fantastic campaign and it was an absolute pleasure to be out there racing those guys on the water. So to Artemis, thank you guys and um, thanks for making us stronger for the way forwards. While Outridge won Olympic gold in 2012, Berlin got his revenge in 2016 in Rio, relegating his rival to silver. Boatmen have been sailing with their 49er partners in America's Cup competition. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.